This is done by printing 20 sheets a second time with the same setting. The print image of the middle 16 sheets must be accurate. This tells you that you have a good sheet-to-sheet -sheet register. Open the guard and slide the guide straps into the print-free area in order to prevent smudging. Once Make Ready has been completed, check the print sheet again. You can now perform final color corrections. The Printmaster GTO 52 also features a forwards print counter and a production run selector. Select the type of counting you require. To pre-select a production run, Set the number of prints required. Start the production run by pressing the green production button. After 10 sheets or so, activate the sheet counter and start the production run itself. During production, make sure you constantly check the color against your OK sheet. You should also check that the sheets are traveling correctly by fanning out around 10 of them. The press stops automatically once the pre-selected number of copies is reached. Crank down the production pile and move it carefully to one side. To clean the inking units, position the wash-up blade into the press. To wash the inking unit and dampening unit simultaneously, you must first close the dampening solution canister and drain the pan. The outlet hose is located behind the protective door on the drive side. Run this into a canister and drain out the dampening solution completely by opening the drain cock. When using an automatic additive metering unit, simply switch this off. Remove the ink from the ink fountain using a spatula. Swing the ink fountain downwards and remove the side cheeks for cleaning purposes. Use a cloth to clean any remaining ink from the ink fountain and the cheeks. Swing the ink fountain back up again and lock it into position. Turn the ink fountain ruler sweep to zero. The press should be set to between 5,000 and 6,000 prints an hour for washing the rollers. Carefully spray a little wash up solution onto the rollers. Use the lever to position the blade onto the ink distributors.
Once the inking rollers are more or less clean, the inking rollers and dampening rollers can be positioned onto the plate so that the plate and dampening unit are washed at the same time. Now, connect the inking unit and dampening unit. Apply a small amount of wash-up solution at regular intervals until the rollers are clean and dry. The inking and dampening rollers and the connection between them can now be disengaged again. Disengage the wash-up blade and bring the press to a halt. The rubber lip of the wash-up blade should be cleaned after each wash-up. The blanket and impression cylinders are then cleaned using a cloth which has been immersed in wash-up solution. Ensure that the bearers on the plate and blanket cylinders are also clean. The circumferential and lateral registers should be zeroed again. Do this by running the press in operating mode. By zeroing the registers in this way, the press is best prepared for the next print job.